Hello and welcome to the Daily Comic and Collectible, episode 273. Now today, the collectible of the day is the Hasbro Toys, Marvel Legends, X-Men series, Bonebreaker Build-A-Figure, Darwin Action Figure. True to his name, Darwin has the power to adapt against any threat, from searing volcanic heat to the cold vacuum of space. This Marvel action figure is based directly on the X-Men comic series, designed with premium articulation for advanced posing and displayability. This 6-inch 1-12th scale figure has a detailed design with intricate head sculpt. This is part of the Bonebreaker Build-A-Figure series and comes with a piece to complete the figure. This box contains Darwin action figure, two pairs of interchangeable hands, and Bonebreaker Build-A-Figure piece. Released by Hasbro Toys. Now, the comic of the day is X-Men, Volume 5, Issue Number 18, with a cover date of April 2021. With story by Jonathan Hickman, art by Mohamed Azrar, and cover by Lionel Francis Yu. This issue is titled, Inside the Vault. The Cancel of Krakoa has sent a three-person reconnaissance team to South America to enter the vault and ascertain the threat level and weaknesses of the vault and the capabilities of the children of the vault. One big issue they have to deal with is how time works differently in the vault. Time fluctuates and a day inside can mean a year on the outside. The three-person team chosen were Wolverine, Darwin, and Sink. This story is told from Sink's point of view. And after entering, he reflects on his role as Wolverine and Darwin's backup, as his power allows him to be an added information gatherer, like Darwin is on this mission, or added muscle, like their leader, Wolverine. Meanwhile, inside the dome, located in the center of the city, the Master Mold welcomes the newest member, Serafina, to the vault, and analyzes her information. The Master Mold has come to the conclusion that the children of the vault are not yet ready and need upgrading if they are to survive and win against the mutants. It is then that the Master Mold suddenly detects contamination in the vault, and even though they are not ready, sends the children to save the city. The Master Mold sends Serafina, Sanre, Pero, Aguja, and Fuego after Darwin, Sink, and Wolverine. Arriving to the elevator, Serafina sniffs their scent in the elevator and has Fuego set it on fire. Luckily, the X-Men were not in there and Wolverine jumps out of the shadows and immediately kills Serafina. As the teams fight, Fuego hits Sink with a fire blast. Wolverine backs Sink up by fighting Fuego so he can use her healing factor to heal himself. After healing himself, he finds out he's able to sink Fuego's powers. Before he was resurrected, he could only borrow powers from other mutants, but that's not the case anymore. Sink then uses those powers to burn Sangre and Pero to death. Aguja is the last of the children of the vault left standing. Seeing no other way out, she releases all of her power to create a massive dome-like blast in an effort to kill the outsiders. As the issue ends, we are reminded of Sink's earlier comment. It was easy to get into the vault. We couldn't believe how hard it would be to get out. This story continues in the next issue, X-Men, issue number 19. Geek Fact By the time the trio get out of the vault, over a year has passed for the outside world. Bonus Geek Fact We get to see a confidential letter from the Council of Krakoa. A mutant rule is kill no man. Their decision is since the children fall outside of human and the risk of data recovery seems impossible using legal methods, force protocol is initiated for this mission. Another bonus geek fact. Darwin's first appearance in Marvel Comics was in X-Men Deadly Genesis, issue number two, with a cover date of February 2006. In this issue's second story, we also get his origin. And final geek fact, Laura Kinney is officially the new Wolverine, and has been for some time now. 
she's done the work and earned the title, and her first appearance was in NYX, or NYX, Volume 1, Issue Number 3, with the cover date of February 2004. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining me for today's Daily Comic and Collectible, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. This is Cad Fan Comics Man, and I'll catch you on the flip. Over and out.